we're going to introduce an audio file into our After Effects movie composition. I'm going to select the project window in the left hand corner. I'm going to go to File, Import, File, and I'll click on my MP3 and hit Open. Now all I need to do is drag this into my composition like so. You'll notice that an audio file has got kind of a turquoise color to it. And much like editing a picture, I can open up the triangle at the left hand side of the layer number. I'll see the term audio, I'll click on that triangle, and one more time to open the waveform. And there's our physical waveform. And this is kind of helpful uh, to see when you actually put your fade transition into it. I'm going to punch in 200 on my time code in the corner so that I can begin this transition at two seconds. Now, if we were to take a look at the stopwatch that precedes the word audio levels, this is where we're going to drop our first key frame. You'll also notice that there are the blue numbers here. And by default, every audio file that comes in registers at 0.00 decibels. In the case of music, I would not want to bring that any higher because it will tend to distort. But we will be making it lower in order to fade it out. So I've got my playback head where I would like a keyframe to be when it comes in to full volume at 0, 0.00 decibels. I'm going to put my playback head back at the beginning of my movie and I'm going to change the 0, 0.00 to minus 100. And you'll see now this tapered effect from, of your clip from the first key frame we generated to the first one at the beginning of the timeline, you can see that kind of descend. And when we play our movie, we hear the audio fade in. Now we're going to go down to the end of the movie and just reverse this process. So I'm going to go down to the end of my movie, and I can slide down using the bottom edge of my application interface like so. Slider there. Or just above the frames and seconds you'll see on your timeline there is also a very narrow gray bar with a little blue tab on either end and I can drag on that as well to navigate to where I would like to be. So I'm just going to locate the last clip and I'm going to put my playback head at the end of that clip, I can shift and snap if I wanted to. I'm going to back up two seconds. So I'm at 42 seconds. I'll make it 40 seconds. And I'm going to copy the original second key frame. So I'll just zoom back on that. Here's my second key frame. I want that to be duplicated at that point in time. And there's two ways to do that. I can select it here, turn it blue when it's selected, Command C, Command V. Or I can go to the left hand side of my application interface, and you'll see at the very far left edge two triangles with a diamond shape in the center. If I was to click on that little diamond shape in the center, it duplicates the previous keyframe, which is this one. Essentially the same thing we got when we copy-paste it. Now I want to put a fade out at the end of the very last clip. So I'll return to that again. And I'll go to the 0, 0.00 decibels. I'll click on it and I'll put minus 100. Now if I just put my playback head down a little bit before those two keyframes, tap my spacebar, and we've successfully made a fade in, fade out.